Hello viewers, in this session we will discuss about hardened properties of the concrete mass. This property is one of the important property among the all the properties of the concrete mass. In this session we will discuss about importance of the hardened properties and we will also discuss about how we can identify the hardened property of the concrete mass. Before the starting this topic I would like to explain that you can identify the hardened properties with major two way first one is a destructive test and second one is a non destructive test you can identify the hardened property with crushing the concrete mass or applying the load to the concrete mass and after that you can identify the strength of the concrete mass and we are using this method from the great number of the years and about the non-destructive test we can identify the hardened properties of the concrete without damaging the concrete mass you can see these are the pictures shows that we are using the different types of the specimen for finding the hardened properties hardened properties is mainly considered as a strength of the concrete mass these properties you have to identify before the using the concrete mass at your side you have to assure that your concrete mass is capable to give the desired strength at your side so you have to identify the hardened properties of the concrete mass so you have to identify the strength of the concrete mass and you can see the number of the pictures shown in your screen we are using the different type of the specimen for finding these properties like cube and cylinders and we are using this specimen for finding compressive strength tensile strength and flexural strength of the concrete mass and we are using the different size and the shape for finding the hardened property of the concrete mass and we are finding generally 7 days and 28 days strength for the hardened concrete mass so you have to consider the final strength at the 28 days i am giving you an example for example you are using the m20 grade of the concrete mass it means your concrete should give the 20 newton per mm square at the end of the 28 days it means you have to identify that the concrete mass is capable 20 newton per mm square at your site at the end of the 28 days that you have to identify for the concrete mass before the using the concrete mass at your site you have to identify the hardened properties of the concrete mass it means you have to identify the strength of the concrete mass and in that case you have to find out at strength at 28 days for particular mix for example you are using the m25 grade of the concrete mass so you have to assure that your concrete mass of the compressive strength will give you 25 newton per mm square at the end of the 28 days at your site so you have to identify the hardened property or the strength of the concrete mass in your laboratory testing so you have to assure that your concrete mass is capable to give the desired strength which have been designed for the particular site you might have a question arise that why we are finding the hardened properties of the concrete mass concrete has a 
different types of the properties, hardened properties like compressive strength, like flexural strength, like bond strength between the steel and the concrete mass. So you have to identify the strength of these parameters. So first of all, you have to identify the compressive strength of the concrete mass because the concrete is good in the compressive strength after the compressive strength you have also identified the bond strength between the steel and concrete mass in your rcc elements for example you are using the rcc column rcc beam and slab in that case you are using the steel reinforcement in your rcc element in that case you have to identify the bond between the steel and your concrete mass so you can identify with using of the bond strength test and tensile test you are using the tensile reinforcement in your concrete mass so there may be corrosion or other effect like shrinkage so in that case the stresses are applying to your steel reinforcement in that case you have to identify the tensile strength of the reinforcement bar because the steel is a good in the tension and concrete is good in the compression and in beam element you have to identify the flexural strength of the concrete mass concrete is a weak in tension but you have to identify the flexural strength or tensile strength for the concrete mass with using of the modulus of rupture test and split cylinder test so you have to assure that your concrete is capable or not to give you the desired strength which have been designed for the particular site for the particular element so in short you have to identify the compressive strength of the concrete and tensile strength of the concrete mass we will start from the compressive strength of the concrete mass object of this test to identify the compressive strength of the cubic concrete mass and you have to identify the maximum load can resist the concrete mass at until the concrete is failure so the test methods cover the determination of the compressive strength of the cubic concrete specimen and it consists of applying the compressive load on the module cubes at the rate which is within a prescribed range until the failure occurs and you can refer the indian standard 516 1959 is 1199 1959 and sp 23 1982 and is 1008 1982 let us discuss about the number of the specimen required for the finding the hardened properties of the concrete mass for finding the strength of the concrete mass you have to identify the 7 day strength and 28 days you require three specimen for the 7 days and you require three specimen for the 28 days so you can calculate that 3 plus 3 it means for the 7 days and the 28 days you required 6 cubes for finding the compressive strength of the concrete mass let us discuss about the apparatus for finding the strength of the concrete mass for finding the hardened properties of the concrete mass mainly we require the compression testing machine ctm and we require the cube specimen mold and standard size of the cube we are consider for the compressive strength is 150 mm by 150 mm by 150 mm and you can also use 100 mm by 100 mm by 100 mm cube and you can also refer the cylindrical shape with 150 mm diameter and 300 mm height for finding the compressive strength of the concrete mass if we talk about the other apparatus required for the finding 
the strength of the concrete mass compressive strength of the concrete mass we required the weighing machine and we required the tamping rod for the tampering and tools for the containers for mixing let us discuss about the procedure for finding the strength of the concrete mass first of all you have to prepare the proper mix of the concrete for the particular grade like m20 m25 m30 m35 this will depend of requirement of the site so first of all you have to finalize the proportion of the ingredients of the concrete mass like cement contain fine aggregate and coarse aggregate and water mass then you have to proper batching with the weighing machine and then you have to mix it for preparing the concrete mix you can mix it with the hand mixing or machine mixing if you are using the machine mixing it may require 2 to 3 minutes for proper homogeneous concrete mix after the preparing the concrete mix you have to fold this concrete mix in our mold you can see here we are using the cubical cube mold for finding the compressive strength of the concrete mass we can use the different size and shape of the concrete cube mold for finding the strength of the concrete mass in general we are using 150 mm by 150 mm by 150 mm cube and you can also use 100 mm by 100 mm by 100 mm cube for aggregate size is less than 20 mm and you can also refer the cylindrical specimen with 150 mm diameter and 300 mm height and after the placing the concrete mix in our mold you have to compact it properly and fill the concrete up to the surface and you have to allow the place the concrete mass in the mold for the 24 hours and after the stiffing of the concrete you have to remove the mold from the concrete mass and the cube of the concrete you have to place in your curing tank for allowing the curing of the concrete mass generally we are finding the compressive strength at 7 days and 28 days it means you require 3 specimen for the 7 days and 3 specimen for the 28 days it means you have placed the 6 number of the cubes in your curing tank and you will use 3 cubes for 7 days and you will use 3 cubes for 28 days remember that your final strength will be considered at the end of the 28 days of the strength of the concrete mass and after the 7 days and 28 days you have to put out from the curing tank of your concrete mold and then allow it for the normal temperature for a few hours and then this concrete cube you have to put in the compression testing machine and allow to load on this specimen remember that if you are applying the load on the specimen remember that the, you have to apply the load of the surface of the cube not top and the bottom of the mold of the concrete cube so you have to apply the load on the parallel surface of the concrete mold and then note down the maximum load applied to the specimen during the test shall be recorded it means you have to record the strength load until the specimen failures this will indicate the strength of the concrete mass you have to measure the three specimen for the seven days and you have to measure the three specimen for the 28 days generally in seven days you are getting the strength approx 67 percentage and at the end of the 28 days you are getting the full strength of the concrete mass now you can see the observation table on your screen 
this is the edge of the cube and then this is the weight of the cube and you have to note down the load and you have to consider the cross section area and you are getting the compressive strength of the cube generally you are taking the three cube of the weight and then you are getting the different types of the load failure load for the particular cubes so you are getting the three number of the compressive strength and in that case you have to average the three cube of the compressive strength and you are getting the average compressive strength clear so you have to find out the seven days strength and same you have to find out the 28 days strength for the cube specimen and remember that the compressive strength make the average of the strength three specimen but the variation should not be more than plus or minus 15 percent to the average otherwise the sample are invalid so this is all about the compressive strength of the cube of concrete mass thank you